Hey Pokemon fans, I am back with another spoofing tutorial. Today I will show you guys how to install Rooted PG tools in UG Phone Cloud Emulator. Before we dive into the tutorial, I'd like to take a moment to mention something important. From our YouTube analytics, we've noticed that only a small percentage of viewers are actually subscribed to our channel. If you enjoy the content we create, we would really appreciate your support by subscribing. It helps us grow and bring you even more exciting videos. Okay, now it's time to start with the tutorial. To begin, we start by installing UG Phone. UG Phone is a cloud device emulator that we will use in this video. It is fast and won't require a powerful PC or a physically rooted device. So now let's start with the tutorial. The download link for UG Phone is in the video description. Now just follow my steps. After the download is finished, we are going to go over to step 2. After you run the setup and installed UG Phone, then log in with your account, or create one if you haven't yet. Now follow what I do, toggle the switch on that's called Root Total Switch, and change the scope from Customized Apps to All Apps and press Confirm. After that, start the phone, you just change the settings and wait till it's finished initializing. Don't wonder, this can may take some time but just wait and don't close it. Now download Link to SD from the Tool Center. After that, click on Android System Web View. Click on the three dots and uninstall it. And restart your cloud phone. Now open Google Chrome and search for PG Tools. Press Download Tools. Now press Download Anyway and allow Google Chrome to download unknown apps. Install Android System Web View. Now start Link 2 SD again. And now, instead of uninstalling Android System Web View, you convert it to a system app. And after that, restart your cloud phone again. After it restarted, start Google Play Store and search for GPS joystick and download the first one. Open up PG Tools and press Start Service. Download an auto-install 
Again, allow install unknown apps. After it's installed, press Start Services again. Now before we go further, we need to activate Developer Settings. For that, just follow what I do. Now we are almost finished. As you can see, we need to enable mock location. To enable it, just follow what I do. Now it's running. Now just open Pokemon Go. And now you can play around in the settings. That's it. Thanks for sticking till the end. I hope it helped. If you still have questions or run into problems, feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord. There we also help. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see y'all in the next video.